So here's our open channel simulator, or our flume, that will be used throughout this video to explain the Manning's equation. So here's our Manning's equation. Uh, we have several variables. We have Q, which is the flow rate. We have V, which is velocity. A, area. And this explains this side of our equation. And over here, with the expanded form, we have a coefficient for conversion, which would be a 1.49. And then following that, we have n, which is the Manning's coefficient, which simply describes the roughness of the surface. And then we have S, which is the slope, and R, which is the hydraulic radius. And then A, which is area, again. OK. So when looking at N, we can actually just look at these two sides of the equation. Um, so n, as we know, is Manning's coefficient. And it is describing the roughness of the surface that, it is, that the water is flowing over. So when we increase the n, we're increasing essentially the friction. And what we would expect is for the velocity to go down. And you can see that this is true if n were to increase this quantity it would decrease. And therefore, as a result, this is true. And here we are with uh, our, our open channel and we're using a low Manning's N here. And you can see the flow is fairly quick. Now we have a much higher Manning's N, and this will cause the flow to slow down, as you will soon see. This is due to the friction caused by our grass turf. Taking a look at the slope, if we were to increase our slope, we would notice that we would also be increasing our velocity. So with the higher slope, we would expect the, 
the flow to be much faster. And here's an example of that. Now we have lowered the slope and the flow has slowed down quite quite a bit. And as you can see, it slowed down so much that it's actually got a higher depth, which actually allows that wooden block to eventually move down. All right. So in a conservative flow, if we were to change one of our variables, we would essentially end up changing the other side as well because our flow would be conserved. We wouldn't be changing the flow rate. But if, let's say, we modify our area so we have A1 and a V1, and let's just say that we're going to decrease the area from consequence, we would have to increase the velocity to conserve that flow rate. So notice the area before the blocks and how the water is actually at a much higher depth and it's flowing quite a bit slower, whereas the area that is being altered by the blocks, it's being cut off, it's actually got a much lower depth and the flow is much faster. So here's everything that we have covered at work in nature, and it is quite beautiful as you can see.